I found a new website where you can create really beautiful coloring pages. Look at these coloring pages. I created them using this free website. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to share my secret way for generating prompts to create really beautiful coloring pages. So make sure you stay to the end of this video so you don't miss out on any important information. Now the website I'm talking about is called ideogram.ai. So to sign up on this website, all you need to do is to come over to ideogram.ai and then it's going to take you to this page. Then you can go ahead to sign in with either your Google account or your Apple account. You can also use your Twitter account or your Discord account to sign up. Once you sign up, it will bring you to the explore page. So you can see these are different images that people have created. So if you are using the free account, then all your generations will come over to the explore page. The public can see your images. Now, one good thing about this website is that they actually show you the prompts that people are using to generate their images. So for example, if I click on this image right here, you will notice that this is the prompt that the person used to generate this image. So you can actually copy this prompt right here. Click here to copy the prompt and then you can just refine it to create your own different version of image. And if you scroll down, you will notice that this is the magic prompt is this website that actually gives you the magic prompt is turned on automatically most of the time for the purpose of this video i'm just going to show you how to use this website to create your coloring book pages for free i'm just going to show you how i use it to create my coloring book pages so if you want to create your coloring book pages all you need to do is to come over to this bar right here and then this is where you paste your prompts now, when you paste your prompt, you can see these are different styles you can select from. The photo, illustration, 3D render, typography, cinematic, poster, and you know, if you click here on these three dots, you can see other styles you can select when you want to generate your image. Now, if you come over here at the right hand side, you will see the magic prompt is actually turned on automatically. But you can actually decide to turn it off by clicking on this button, or you can turn it on. I can leave it at auto so that every time you want to generate your image, it will be turned on. So I'm just going to leave it like this now when i'm creating my coloring pages i like to go with the aspect ratio of two by three but if you click on this drop down arrow you will see there are different aspect ratios right here so but i personally like to go with two by three whenever i'm creating my coloring book pages on this website so i'm just going to go ahead and select it if you're using the free version then automatically the visibility will be set at public but if you want it to go to private then you need to upgrade to the paid version when you do that you cannot be able to switch it into private so just click on this button right here and you see the advanced features so for the model i like to go with 1.0 and if you click on this drop down arrow you will see other models that are available right here you can see 0 0.1 0 0.2 but i highly recommend you go with 1.0 as your model because it's the latest model for the rendering you can see it's set as default and that's because it's the free version but assuming it's the paid version you can be able to select if you want it to be fast or you know select quality that it depends on the one you want for the seed number Number two is locked already because it's a free version even the negative prompt is actually locked because it's only for the paid version but to be honest you can generate really beautiful coloring pages on this website for free and one thing i like about this website is that you can actually use the images you generated for commercial use free of charge like without having any copyright issue you can see their terms and conditions where it's clearly stated it so for their subscription as you can see for the free version you have 25 prompts per day to use and generate your images but you can upgrade to the basic plan which is seven dollars per month but if you want to pay annually you save 12.5 percent for it you have about 400 prompts with 1600 images per month and you can download the original quality in png for the plus plan is about 16 dollars per month and you save 20 percent if you are billed annually for this one you have about 1000 prompts to generate 4000 images per month okay so now let me show you how to create your coloring pages on this website but before i do that let me show you some of the coloring pages i've generated on this website you can see i generated this beautiful coloring page of butterfly on this website side and you can see that it's really beautiful and simple for kids. Now look at the prompts I used to generate this beautiful coloring page. So if I should just click on this, you can see that it gave me like four different images. This is another one. And if I should click here, this is another one. This is the fourth one. I don't like this particular one because I feel that it doesn't have enough space for coloring. If you look at these butterflies, you can see that the spaces are very tiny. So I wouldn't use this one. So what you can do after generating your images is just to download it. So simply click on those three buttons 
right here and then you're going to see this download button just click on it to download it you can also see this one i wanted to just create coloring pages for kids between age four to six so that's why you can see that i use a prompt that can give me simple coloring pages so look at the prompt i use for this one so you can see that it generated four different images for me so I actually tried generating quote coloring pages to see if it actually work on this website. I wanted to create quote coloring pages for kids. And to my greatest surprise, it actually worked. You can see this one, a little kindness goes a long way. And you can see that it's really beautiful. Like I can actually use it in my coloring book. Now look at the prompts I also used. As you can see, they generated like four different images for me. So let me just show you the four images. I love the first one. The first one is looking really beautiful and kids can actually color the letters. Now look at this one. A simple kids coloring pages, you know, for age 4 to 6. So you can see the prompts I use for the alligator coloring page. You can see the prompts I use and you can see the magic prompts. And I think this is really beautiful to color and it's very simple to color for kids between age 4 to 6. Look at this one too. I actually wanted to label the images with alphabets and it came out great. Now let me just show you exactly how to create it. So let's just create another one. So I already have my prompt right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this prompt. I'll come right here and paste it. Now remember what I told you, the magic prompt is already selected automatically. Now the aspect ratio I like to use is 2 by 3. The visibility is public. And then when I click on those buttons, it will take me to the advanced option. The model I like to use is 1.0 because it's the latest model. Now I've noticed one thing. You see all these styles that are here. From my experience, I noticed that whether I use illustration or not, it still comes out fine. So I don't bother to select the style. So I'll just leave it like that. And then I'll simply go ahead and click on generate. So let's give it a few minutes to generate the image. Look at how the coloring page turned out. Isn't this beautiful? Now you're probably asking, so how how do I actually come up with the right prompt to use? It's very simple. All you need to do is to add ChatGPT to generate prompts for you. So let me just show you some of the prompts I've generated right here. So look at the prompt I gave ChatGPT. So I described the kind of coloring page I want to create. Then I asked it to give me a parent prompt I can use in an AI image generator. So look at the prompt I used. Now it gave me this parent prompt. After that, I now asked it to give me prompts I can now use to generate specifically what I want. For example, I wanted to generate a coloring page of an alligator, like ABC animal themed coloring page. So I now asked it to refine the parent prompt it has given me right here. So I can now use it to generate only the letter A, which stands for alligator. Then after asking it, it now gave me this prompt. So this is actually the prompt I copied and used on the website to generate my coloring page. So this is a great way for you to come up with prompts for generating your coloring pages. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this. And go ahead to click on the video on the screen right now to watch this video on how to use another free AI image generator to create your coloring pages for free. And I will see you in the next one.